Hi, welcome to the University of Manitoba Autonomous Agents Lab. Uh, I'm Chris, and over here is Amir. Hi. And we just got a very exciting box from Robotus that we're going to open up for you. So uh, let's take a look at what's in there. All right, there's Amir breaking the seal on the package. So excited. Oh, more tape. So what's in there? We've got right. some bubble wrap. And what's this? This is paperwork and uh, this is a calendar. Uh, calendars. Yeah. Ooh. Just in case we, we don't have online calendars. <laughs> Right, they're all the same. Yeah, all right. Oh, move those out of the way. And that's a familiar looking pelican style case. You can see, it's the same thing as Darwin 1. And inside, we have. Our new Darwin! A shiny new hot off the presses, well cold off the mail delivery truck because it's like minus 25 outside right now. Oh, yeah. But this is the Darwin OP2 which features better internal hardware and over the next couple of weeks we're going to be giving it a test out in our lab and posting some videos of some of the feedback and what our general impressions of the robot are. And some of the other goodies in the case. We've got batteries. batteries. And these are the new standard batteries that come with the Darwins. Uh, for those of you with the older models, these are higher capacitance. If I can get that to focus, maybe. Yeah. There we go. These are higher capacity batteries and the little tiny red ones that came with the uh, early Darwins. And, we get and we've got uh, some extra cables in there. TTL cables. Yeah, so just like the uh, old Darwin, this used the three connector, you know, the three pin cables. And this box over here, we've got the standard little blue Robotus battery charger. We've got the USB stick with presumably recovery software and everything on there. We've got spare fuses, pretty much standard Robotus. Darwin spare parts, lots of extra screws all in a bag, nuts, bolts, screws, everything. Presumably there's some hex wrenches in there too. The ever useful tube of Loctite. And the red ball with its delightful smiley face. Hello! Yeah. And then for the robot itself... We've got lots of foam blocks holding it all together there. So this is the new model. So biggest cosmetic change you can see is it's got white or light gray body paneling instead of dark gray or black. Uh, the cables, again, unlike the very early old Darwins, the cables have these plastic coil wraps on them. Hopefully you can see that. It helps the cables not get tangled up. And the back of the Darwin, in terms of connectors, is probably the biggest change from before. Uh, you can see layout is a little bit different for those of you familiar with the old Darwins. We've got an HDMI port right here, two USB ports, Ethernet way over on the other side, and again the standard two input buttons and the reset button. And a little lower down on the hip, we've got the battery connector and the power switch. And other than that, physically, it looks to be pretty much the same as a classic or Gen 1 Darwin. So looking forward to getting this guy's batteries charged, and we'll uh, test them out. Yeah.